Aloha everybody. Here's a quick little weekly walk about at the collector. I've got heaps of cool stuff to sell this week. Lovely little glass paperweights, beautiful little Victorian glass over the back there, little sort of basket. Let a young kid out the street in his V8. That's not for sale though. There's a cool little uh, perfume bottle with a sterling silver top and another little one on the left there. Really like the tin over the back. It's got the little the little top sort of pops up up and it's pierced. It's a little confectionery tin that you 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 to use as a little um pot puree thing afterwards. The way the little top comes off with uh, comes up with the pierced top to let the aroma out. It's a beautiful little thing, and it's quite surprising to see the little top still on it. You'd think it'd go missing pretty quickly. Some more nice little glass paperweights and lots of cigarette and swap cards and stuff this week. Really nice little bit here, a couple of bits of old footy ephemera. Upper Murray Football Association, official program from 1948. Really cool little thing. Little Strange World cards in there and some nice silver rings and other cigarette cards and watches and stuff this week. Costume jewellery, nice big group there. Oh, what other stuff have we got? We've got a lovely outdoor setting this week. The table, the two-seater and two chairs to go with it. In great original condition, really nice little lot. It's pretty cool, the planet lamp there, which is on the nice big industrial sort of base, which has come out of an old dentist place. Big boxes of CDs this week, and box heaps of playing cards and swap cards, and big boxes of records as well. Nice amp there, the Yamaha amp, who's a ripper, the thing weighs an absolute ton. Big box of tins and petrol stuff in amongst there. Pretty cool old Victor lawnmower. Boxes of footy ephemera and oil lamp parts and more cards. Good quality Peterson speakers there. Records, cases, pretty china, nice little box lot. It's pretty cool, the old Collingwood team photo there from 1981. Some pretty bad moustaches and hairdos and stuff in amongst that lot. Got flat comics are pretty cool, some Phantom comics, heaps of Disney ones there as well. We've got lots of comics this week. I really like this little New Zealand carved box. Really quite nice, with little lizards on top there. And a nice big portable record player, it's a bit of a cracker. Pretty cool as well, the big 1970s wall hangs there, made out of red pine. Yeah, this is nice, an old Ericsson wall mountable clock there, with another bit for spare parts. Pretty cool old speedball down the bottom there, and they're great little barbers, the old barber sort of towel things that you wear around your, uh, around your neck. Uh, pretty cute little typewriter, some cool boxes of the CDs and stuff this week. Some great sort of James Dean stuff we've got this week, actually. Here's a nice big poster from Giant. It's actually hand-signed by Elizabeth Taylor. There you go, pretty cool thing. We've got some lovely clothes and stuff. We had more clothes come in for the clothes auction, which was last week. Beautiful big kimono, though. There's some lovely stuff from really nice sort of 1960s, 70s shot silk. Really like this little green Norma Tolo, sort of little 1970s little... Dress, his little cracker, goes with a nice little two-piece outfit as well. Really quite nice. We've got some lovely furs and astrakhans and great leather jackets and stuff. Good records this week, actually. Beatles box set there, Queen box set. Cool lot there with a bit of Pink Floyd in the front. Slot car racing sets a ripper down the bottom there. It's got the cars in it. Nice little gong. Some more pretty china. Nice little bit of Royal Winton. Heaps of cigarette cards, sort of film stars and things like that. Little Japanese tin toys, cute. Nice pair of sort of Victorian ladies boots. The Courage Trays Ripper. And this is quite nice as well. The Jim Beam decanter there, which has still got the contents in it. Hooray! It's going to be a good afternoon. <laughs> little tin toy bus. Nice little BP service station. That's Bonzo underneath the pith helmet. Pretty cool as well. A big plaque there for Condos. He was the Sunraysia Trotting Club horse, horse of the Year in 1973-74. Pretty cool big mirror there. I've got a Humphrey Bogart. This is an amazing big original linen backed uh, Rebel Without a Cause movie poster. Pretty cool to see the original thing. Lovely Art Deco reproduction bronze. <coughs> nice big radio, some more good records. Lovely glass and comics. Nice big lot of Beatles records. Some lovely ephemera. Nice big lot of English china at the top there. Carlton Ware, Silvac, Price Kensington. Nice stuff. Beautiful big Usher's whiskey piece, but there's a chip out of the top, which is a bit of a shame, so we've put it with a couple of nice little advertising ashtrays. More Beatles records. Nice to see the moustache cups with their saucers. <coughs> the 
Now Smith & Wesson signed their reproduction, but cool thing. Nice mobile oil tin. Some pretty cool old police badges. German ones there and lots of American ones. Nice little lot of Egyptian little pieces down the bottom there as well. Yeah, heaps of cool stuff this week, guys. What else have we got? Oh, the N2 cabinets look really, really nice. The canisters are cool. Lovely pair of Victorian vases. Nice big candyware vase over the back. I think it'll sell for 10 or 20 bucks. I think candyware, English 1930s. I think it's sort of overlooked a bit. Should sell for more than that, but it never does. A couple of nice little bits of Australian pottery. A little Gunda. Little polka dot vases. A lovely little bit. It hasn't got any, um, like, tourist destinations written on it. Which I kind of like. I like when they don't have the, you know, when it doesn't say Malacuta on the back or something like that. Yeah, another nice clock, some Dalton, nice little Meakin uh, Churchill jug over the back, some lovely carnival glass this week. Nice collection of Fenton and other glass. There you go, two James Dean story, the movie uh, lobby cards there. Lovely little hot point Bakelite radio with a little white dial and the knobs. It's pretty cool, the old Autocrat and Broadway drum catalogue there from the 1950s. Lovely old bowler hat, cool pair of flying quackers. There's some lovely stuff in the end cabinet here as well. This is really nice, this. Property of VOCO, Vacuum Oil Company Limited. Half gallon, made by A. Joyce & Co. Makers in Melbourne. Really nice little thing. Missing the lid, unfortunately, but it wouldn't be hard to find something for it. Nice little pyramid clock there, a ripper, Or pyramid phone, sorry. And a little magic lantern set in the box is cute as well. Got some more lovely carnival glass and Victorian sort of glass. Lovely pair of vases there. Some nice big Italian, I think, art glass comport. Uh, Royal Winton. The two stills over the back, the movie stills, are out of giant. But they're quite unusual. They're just stills out of the movie. That they're not or set shots actually. You can actually see the little board in the back. Giant Stevens Co Limited, 1955. Yada yada yada. Really cool things. Quite unusual to see them. Lovely big bit of royal ducks, actually. The big sort of float, float vase there, float bowl. Summer idol. Beautiful thing. Another lovely bit of Victorian glass. Some more pretty Victorian glass vases. Nice to see the little Torquay wear set. More good carnival glass, the green bowl. And we've got some nice stuff up the top shelf as well. Lovely robot teapot. These are quite nice, actually. The pair of silver continental candlesticks. They are marked. Love the big Art Deco uh, Villaroy vase, I think it is. And over the back there in the little frame is a, is a little piece of uh, signed piece by James Dean. There you go, to Tom, all with best wishes, James Dean. I'm going to see his signature floating around every day. Nice thing. Interesting to see what it sells for on Thursday night. This is a lovely little bit, actually. I think it's Crown Devon as opposed to Carlton Ware. I mean, that's a bit of Carlton Ware. They look pretty bloody similar, don't they? But it's lovely with the little spider's web and the spider on it and all the rest. Real Art Deco. What nice the way this little sort of... Gold bit sort of stops halfway around the top here. They're quite a nice little thing, lovely little bit. Love the biscuit tin as well. Got a little roll top biscuit tin. Lovely pair of Majolica vases also with a lovely bulbous sort of bottoms into a slender neck. And no marks on them, which is a shame, but they're lovely things. Yeah, that'll be about it for this week, guys. Hopefully you saw something you liked. You know the story, though. Bad luck if you didn't. <laughs>